Let's read today's Bible passage together. It comes from Acts chapter 24, verse 24 and 25. Acts 24, 24 and 25. Let's read God's word together. One, two, three. Several days later, Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish. He sent for Paul and listened to him as he spoke about faith in Christ Jesus. As Paul talked about righteousness, self-control, and the judgment to come, Felix was afraid and said, That's enough for now. You may leave. When I find it convenient, I will send for you. Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we ask uh, that you help us uh, to focus on you, to put aside all the distractions so that we could uh, fully understand and believe uh, the, the truth and the message that you have planned for us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Last week we shared that Paul loved sharing about Jesus. And that was one big problem because the Jews did not believe in Jesus and they wanted to kill Paul because Paul would not stop sharing about Jesus. But God helped uh, keep Paul safe um, but the Jews would not stop, and so they brought a lawyer to fight against Paul. The lawyer said that Paul is very dangerous to Rome, but Paul knew he didn't do anything wrong. And the Roman leader, Felix, heard both sides of the story, and he said he would wait for the commander to make a decision. One day Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, and he had Paul come so that they could hear about Paul's faith in Jesus. Felix was a very sinful ruler who stole from many people, but he was open to hearing about Jesus. So Paul shared about Jesus. And Felix was not able to believe in Jesus because what did Felix say? That's enough for now. You may leave. When I find it convenient, I will send for you. He did not want to keep listening about Jesus. Why? Because Paul shared about sort of the negative aspects about why we need Jesus. Right? We need Jesus because we're a sinner. We need Jesus because God will judge us of our sins. And we need forgiveness, but before Paul could share about how Jesus forgives us, right, Felix said, no more, I don't want to listen. Right? And so when we li listen about Jesus, we need to hear the full story. Right? And we need to open our hearts to hear about everything. Why, they, why we need Jesus. Why there is hope in Jesus. Right? We, like Felix, have an open heart to Jesus. And, and Felix could have opened his heart and followed Jesus, but he ran away. Because Felix didn't make a decision on whether to kill Paul or not, Paul had to wait two years in jail. Okay? He was in jail for two years when he didn't do anything wrong. Now the new leader was Festus. Festus didn't know what to do with Paul either, so he needed help from King Agrippa. King Agrippa came with his wife to hear Paul speak. King Agrippa's great-grandfather was King Herod. Everyone say King Herod. Who was King Herod? He was the one who desperately tried to kill baby Jesus, right? Agrippa's grandfather killed John the Baptist. And so Agrippa's father killed James as well. Agrippa is not, is a very evil family line. But Paul shared about Jesus and King Agrippa's heart was open. Paul could see Agrippa's about to believe in Jesus. But what did he say? Let's read verse 28 together. One, two, three. Then Agrippa said to Paul, You almost persuade me 
to become a Christian. What does this mean? What does almost persuade me? It means that he's almost about to be a Christian. He's almost about to follow and trust Jesus, but not yet. And it stopped there. King Agrippa was never a Christian. Why did he not want to be a Christian? Because he knew that if he followed Jesus, he, it would be hard to continue being friends with the same friends that he had before. That his wife and those friends were evil. He didn't want to lose them. Plus, he saw Paul there. He knew that Paul was a Christian, and, and if Paul, as a Christian, was in jail, and he's going through all this suffering, why would he want to be a Christian? And so he almost believed in Jesus, but he said, no. Many of us may be close to following Jesus, but in the end, it is our decision. We must make that decision. It's either, yes, we follow you, Jesus. We trust in you, Jesus. Or, no. There's no almost in the middle. Right? It's either, yes, Jesus, or no, Jesus. Right? And so I hope that all of us, brothers and sisters, will be able to decide to follow Jesus. Let's read this together. One, two, three. I have decided to follow Jesus. We see that Felix was unable to follow Jesus because he didn't know all about Jesus. And he said, I don't want to hear anymore. King Agrippa was about to believe in Jesus. Everything he was hearing from Paul was so good. Like, oh yes, yes, I want to follow. But he couldn't get past the fact that he might have to lose his evil friends, that he might have to suffer at times and go through hardship like Paul to gain the greatest gift of Jesus. He gave it all up. Brothers and sisters, life is not going to be easy, but will you decide to follow Jesus, to trust in Jesus like Paul did? Paul was the, one of the happiest men alive, and I hope that you will make that decision to put your trust in Him. It is a decision we make based upon what we hear from the Word and that we want to give our lives to Him. So let's make that decision today. I will follow Jesus. Amen? Amen. Let's pray. Lord, we thank You for allowing us to see um, how it's not easy to follow You, Jesus. Like Felix, we might not know enough and hear about judgment and hear bad things and say, I don't want to follow Jesus. I don't want to hear anymore. Or we, may, we might be like King Agrippa, who likes what he's hearing. Everything he's hearing about Jesus is great, but he doesn't want to give up his old life. And so, instead of choosing the great life of Jesus, he kept his old life of King Agrippa. Help us to make that decision and say, Jesus, I want to follow you. I might not know everything. I might go through some hard times, but I know that if Jesus is with me, that is the happiest life I could ever have. So please help us to make that decision to follow you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.